Hello guys and welcome to another track guide video and today we got Spa Francorchamps Heavy Wet. So it's pouring rain here, so slippery, so hard to do. I, I don't know how I did it but the lap was pretty good in the end. Uh, just so slippery but I will try to explain what you need to do to achieve your best time and how to actually manage this circuit in these conditions. So without further ado, let's get going. Okay, starting the lap and try to take as much angle as you possibly can out of the last corner because it really makes a difference here, maybe even up to a tent if you just don't hold your line. Uh, here I'm using this as a reference, so I'm actually using the barrier on the left hand side as a reference to start actually breaking and then you get to the 50 meter sign, pass it, which is quite crucial here, and take a wide angle into this first corner. So just a wide angle into the first one and you can actually see I'm kind of trying to open up the throttle, a little wobble of the wheel, but in second gear and then I open up the third. So you have to straighten up the car, otherwise this, this is not going to work. So a little bit of that first gear and then upshifting into second and then once the car is fully straightened up, then you can really put the power down and in third gear. So here I'm cutting this, yeah, I'm just cutting this curve quite a lot. And then you got the Marshall on the left and look at the brakes going to maybe about 50% I think more more like 20-30% that's kind of more accurate and just try to hold your wheel straight through the chicane and of course if you want to have an early access to my track guide videos so you can become a member on the channel this is where I actually go into detail and I usually publish those videos on Friday but if you're a member here you can access it from today usually Monday so 150 meter sign right about here this is where you break break in the straight line like usual reaching the 50 then you kind of see the end of the curb and then as you start turning in you don't want to use a lot of braking because if you use too much of the brakes you will just basically you will go wide and then he's just actually managing uh, managing the throttle here and I'm kind of using the track limits right there straightening up the car as early as you possibly can and then I was I think I could have got a little bit more time here but it was really really slippery so up shifting into third gear and of course if you straighten up the car you can put the power down if it's not straightened up no, it will slide. So 100 meter sign here, breaking straight. And as you start to turn in, you can see I'm getting to about 50. I think about 50% of the brakes is quite accurate. And then again, up to 30, 40. And then you lower it down to maybe, maybe about 10, 20. And then I'm using, actually I'm using kind of the curb on the right. Just, I want to stay close to it. I want to stay very, very close to it and use the rotation of the curb. And also here, you can see the mark on this one. And here I'm putting maybe about 40, 50% on the brakes, but don't trail brake into this one quite a lot because the car really likes to slide. And if you touch the curb, plus if you trail brake a lot into that, it's just going to slide even more. So here before the 50 meter sign, I would say maybe about 60, 70. This is where you break, just in between the beginning of the curb and the 50 meter sign. And as you start turning in, you see just very, very careful with the brakes. I kind of started sliding. I lost a bit of time here. It could have been a little bit better. So you need to carry the speed by not breaking too much, which is yeah, quite, quite unusual, but really releasing your brakes and then up to 60, 70% of the throttle, which really makes a difference. So just stay on that and then hold it. Uh, you can see the reflection right there. I just pointed it out in the 100 meter sign. This is where you actually break. Break there, fourth gear. You get down in the third, but also as you turn in, you can see I'm not putting in any like any inputs. I'm just downshifting in the second, letting the car to rotate. Here I'm kind of straightening up as early as I can and then taking this turn. You can break a little bit here before this turn. Uh, before this turn just to get a little bit more uh, extra rotation. But I think it's quite okay if you just let go of, of the throttle and of the brakes. And there you got the marker on the right. This is where I break and try to get into this turn with 50, I would say 50, about 30 to 50% of the braking is just about enough. And then you want to exit in third gear. I was in second for quite a long time you can just go in third and I think it's going to be even faster. So I don't have a reference for this turn, but just try to straighten up the car and then uh, then fully on the power. You can even upshift into fourth, but I tested it out in fourth gear. It didn't give me enough traction and enough speed. It was, it was okay. The traction was kind of okay, but it just didn't give me enough speed out of that. So third gear, I'll use third. Someone might prove me wrong by the end of the week. I'm using the PlayStation sign here and the Mark which you can see in front of me, and then 
uh, just a little bit of break and uh, this is usually the turning point right there so yeah it's it's quite easier to use like reference there it really makes so i mean quite a consistent lap time just here uh, just when you pass yeah, just when you pass the banner right there, you got the line, which is really, really hard to see. But right before the 150 meter sign, this is where you break. Just try to make sure that you don't outbreak the car in this one, which is quite crucial. I mean, in in my previous lap time, in my previous best lap time, I lost about half a second here. So it really, really makes a lot of difference. And yeah, just try to be as patient as you possibly can. And then I'm, I was revving up the car in second, but I do believe I need to be a little bit easier there just to get the most out of the car. Guys, uh, once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.